Hello. That was loud, I'm sorry. Tell me if my mic sucks. It shouldn't. I'm back on my usual microphone. Anyway, I'm playing How to Fool Boyfriend. I think I'm going to do one of the yucky teachers today, just to get them out of the way, and then next Thursday I'll do the other one. Okay, I am going to look at their walkthroughs, though, because, quite frankly, I don't want to try twice. Okay, here we go. I don't know which one I'm going to do. I think normal teacher first, and then infirmary guy next. New game. Bird. No. Sorry, I was thinking of hit Mario character Birdadet. No, Birdetta. Oh God. I realized their names were similar the other day, and I can't stop now. I swear I'm not trying to confl conflate them. Yes. No, I don't want to display human portraits. Yuck! Why would I be playing the bird game if I wanted to see humans? Yes, I know, I know, I know. Hey, how come my volume my volume is so loud? It was on four? Great. I don't care about you. I'm waiting until you see the teacher. <gasps> I didn't know it was a fast forward button. This makes my life so much better! <laughs> Lunch already! Today is slipping by so quickly! That reminds me, I've had these books out from the library all summer. I'll return them now. <laughs> blah 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 blah. I don't care about you guys. Excuse me, I don't care. Get out of here. Creep. <gasps> I still love you. Of course. As y'all know, the school doesn't require you to join any club. If you want to, you can. But if you don't, then you're free to go home after school. Kill! Okasan has time only for the track team. That's good. What about you, Shirogane? A foolish question. I already hold a position here. Oh, that's right. You became student presidents when you president when you were admitted. Nip oh nepotism ho, don't we get a vote? Just coming to school is enough for me. You have to take care of your mother on your own and all. Hmm, I wonder what I should do. Yeah, it looks like student council is the correct answer. That's everyone, isn't it? Have fun. What should I do? 
I can do whatever I want, but I should do math, because he teaches it. Master Nanaki dozed off as usual, but class was somehow good anyway. I feel smarter already. Good for you. I was pretty sure I wanted to join it, but what does the council do again? We skipped the vote, and I think it's only Sakuya and me. Anyway, he called a meeting, so to the council room I go. This looks like a CEO's office. Naturally. Do you think I would stand for anything less? Hi, Sakuya. So you had this done? So you had this done? Hmm, this room used to be filthy. Better suited to rabbits than to us. What a prig. Have you decided which position you will take? Oh, no. Have you decided which position you will take? I get to choose. Who is there to choose for you, dumb Japanese? Aren't you Japanese too, Sakuya? Do not mock me! I am French! I forgot. Again. Do not mock me, I am French. A French noble bird? That sounds delicious. I guess I have to pick a post now. I think I'll be the... Clerk. Come on. I'm gonna be the clerk. You came here to take a job like that! <laughs> Unacceptable! No. Where is your ambition? Are you testing yourself? You've got more backbone than that! Um, then, Vice President? Very well. And so I was inflicted with Vice Presidency. There isn't anybody else on the council, is there? Wah, wah. Uh, sitting at home is so relaxing. Oh, tomorrow is the class hike. Should I prepare anything? We won't be going far, so I don't have to. Well, health first. I think I'll have some udon and go to sleep. Today is the hike. We've stopped for a break on a hillside. Who should I talk to? Talk to... Kazuaki. Have I been saying a different name this entire time? That doesn't sound familiar. Oh no, surely I usually... What? Oh no. So in my walkthrough, at the top it shows the little banner that you see when you first meet the bird. And on here, it says Kazu Yaki with a Y, but it's, it doesn't say that anywhere else. It doesn't say that in my game. Where is the mistake? Is it everything, or is it the one place that matters? I do not know. Surely I've been saying Nanaki. I don't know why it's been calling him Nanaki, though. Because that sounds much more familiar. This is upsetting. Hmm, what is it, Teh? Break isn't over yet. Um, I wanted to talk to you, sir. Your friends are all here. Why not talk with them? Do you not want to talk to me? No, that's not what I meant. You're a funny girl, Teh. Wait, no, I haven't said anything yet. And so I took a nap with Mr. Nanaki. Yeah, hey, it says it there. I wonder if he has some sort of illness. I hope he's okay. Hmm. Today's an orange today. What should I do? Attend. Math. Ah. 
I'm not getting this at all. Hmm, maybe you should review the basics a little more, Teh. Yes, sir. Bow -bow. Yippee. Yes. Er, uh, I imagine you're all well aware, but... The sports festival is right around the corner. Please think about what you'll do. Sports festival season already? If it were in the fall, it would conflict with the culture festival. So it's always been in May. What are you going to do, Ryota? I haven't decided, but probably the three-legged race. Some birdie has to. Kill! Okosan will handle the marathon. Indeed, he will. You do have a lot of stamina, Okosan. What about you, Sakuya? You can't possibly be expecting me to run in some race, can you? It is a sports festival. Is there an event that doesn't involve running? How about being a cheerleader? The general, in other words. Very well, leave it to me. Um, I don't think that. Also, nope, that was Sakuya's voice, kind of. Also, the first aid team is always shorthanded, so I'm sure they could use help if any birdie still can't decide. That's all for today. Ryota's doing the three-legged race, Okosan's running the marathon, and Saki is a cheerleader. Yuya might be running the first aid tent. What should I do? I'll have to think about it. Today's a sports festival. I never did make up my mind. What should I do? Looks like I have to do the three-legged race. Go to the three-legged race. Oh, are you joining us? Wanna run together? I haven't found a partner yet. Okay. Get set, go. Ryota's running for both of us. Pairing up a bird and a, prim and a primate might have been a bad idea. We somehow came in second anyway, though. We have brought honor to our class. Yippee. The first barrier for all students who make it this far. The midterm exam. We're getting them back today. Ah, uh, I don't think I did too well. Well, you did, so. Tuh. Yes. You worked hard. Keep going like that and you'll do just fine. One day you could surpass me. I'd love to see that. I guess I did pretty well after all. And Mr. Nanaki seems happy with me too. Yay! Hmm, today is a good day. I feel like I'm shining. I wonder what I should do during break. Go to the... Infirmary is the answer. Uh, I don't want to do this. You again. Are you ill? Um, not exactly. Then why are you here? I came here to... Skip class. I wanted to skip class. Get out. Kicked out at the speed of light. I should probably take my school life more seriously. I guess. T 
Today is a lucky day. What shall we do? <sighs> Math class. I don't feel that tired. I just keep yawning. I always find myself wondering what the math we learn is good for. Gill. Zzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzz
and so he left, a somewhat hollow-sounding farewell echoing behind him. Or was it just my imagination? Today's an elective day. What should I do? Attend math class. Sir, how will integral calculus help us in life? Hmm, hard to say. It might never help you at all, Te. But only studying things that help you in life is tiresome. Think of it as educational candy. Yep. Integral calculus is educational candy? I'm not prepared to accept this. Burn it out, level it up. Wisdom increased by five. Yippee. We get our finals back today. I'm not sure I did too well. You did. T Sir? Well done. You've gotten even better. Keep up the good work. Yes, sir. Success. The issue is I can yawn on command, but I can't stop a yawn, so I keep accidentally triggering the mechanism. With his silly voice. Today's the last day. It's been a semester already. Sometimes it seemed long, and sometimes it seemed short, but either way, it's summer now. I think Sakuya said to help him clean the council room before going home. He always gets angry if I make him wait, so I should hurry. You're late. I came as fast as I could. Sorry, Sakuya. Let's start cleaning. Very well. First, move the shelf and chairs. There's dust underneath. Okay. Next, inside the cupboard. Arrange the files by date. Okay. And then the floor. Polish it at least three times. And the window... Hold on. Are you telling me to do all that by myself? Who else is there? You, bonehead! Maybe I should stand up to him? Never mind. Come on. There we go. Well, all right. You can sit there and tell me what to do. Excellent. And so the council room was polished until it shone with the lights of a thousand suns, just as planned. Uh, I went along with him. Yeah, you did. It's easy to fall out of practice and get fat and lazy during summer vacation. A hunter-gatherer's body is her way of life, so maybe I'll go running today. Asami, I'm in love with you. I don't want to read everything you have to say, but I am in love with you. It's still a long time until the semester starts, and I still have a lot of homework. Maybe I should apply for a part-time job since I have the chance? I'll... Forget it. Come on. Please. Yeah. I think I'll wait until I'm in college. That way I can skip lectures and go to work. You know what else I'm going to skip? Oh, I really thought there was more to it than that. Today's a local summer festival. I think I'll go with somebody. Invite... 
Kazuaki. Creep. Sorry, creepy teacher. Good evening, Tess. Such nice weather. Anyway, you needed something? Um, sir, today's the summer festival. Wanna go together? The two of us? I wouldn't mind, but wouldn't it be more fun with someone your own age? I think it will be plenty of fun with you, sir. Let's go! This is the first time I've been to a festival here. It's very lively. I feel a little dizzy. Are you okay, sir? I'm fine, don't worry. I'm just not very used to crowds. Ah, fireworks. How nice. Have you studied redox color reactions, Te? Oh, yes. In middle school, copper turns green and sodium turns red and that sort of thing. No, no. Sodium turns yellow, right? Oh, that's right. Teehee, silly me. Anyway, that's how fireworks work. Hmm, so beautiful. Though, your eyes are even more beautiful, sir. Yuck. Zzz. He fell asleep. Yeah. Uh. He held up pretty well, but I guess he gets even sleepier than usual as soon as the sun goes down. And besides, I think the girl is supposed to be told she's prettier than the knight. Not the man. Oopsie. Ah, uh, I knew I should have gotten up when I first woke up. I slept way too late. School starts today, right? I'm going to be late. Oh, hello, Te. Sir, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I overslept. Overslept? Ah, my homework, I forgot to bring my homework. Aren't you a getting a little bit ahead of yourself, Te? Huh? What's the number in the top left-hand corner say? Oh... You're just a little bit early. Wah. Though, since you're here, could you lend me a hand for a bit, Te? Lend you a hand? I was about to start grading the freshman's exams, and I thought maybe you could help if you don't have something else. Of course, you have a test in September, so if you want to go and study in the library... I want to... Help, Mr. Nanaki. You will? Thank you. I'll go make us some tea. And so I spent the morning grading tests in the air-conditioned staff room, like a proper little lady. I don't like that. This tea is very good. It has mango in it. I do like sweet tea. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. Skip.
there's a big section here that I don't want to do, quite frankly. Attend a math class. I'll read this bit, even though I have a bunch before. I had hoped for something a little more interesting from an elective, but this is dull. I can just barely keep up, even though Mr. Nanaki explains everything so clearly. So this is all easy for you, Sakuya? Wow. Are you trying to curry favor with me? Hmm. He looks happy, though. Further that leveled up. Wisdom increased by five. Yippee! Skipping again, obviously. Blah 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 blah. Today is a school festival. Our class decided to do a maid cafe. I'm not scheduled to work in it tomorrow, so I have today off. And I'm gonna skip it. I I'm still skipping. <gasps> Wait! What what Ah uh, I think Kazuaki was talking to me. And so I spent the last hours of the festival nervously watching Mr. Nanaki sleep, slipping ever lower in his chair. I read none of that. <laughs> Tragedy. It's fine. Ah, I handed in my recorder instead of my math homework. What do I do? Is Mr. Nanaki still in the staff room? Excuse me. Huh? Mr. Nanaki and Dr. Iwamine. I hadn't expected to see them together. And you see nothing peculiar about these numbers? Nothing at all. There is a statistical deviation visible in the data on students from the past few years. I had hoped to get some insight from you, but it would seem I have overestimated you. Really? Sorry I couldn't help then. I'll... Side with Kazuaki. That's not very nice, Doctor. What do you Sorry, I think, I think my microphone disconnected for a second there. Hello, Te, what is it? Um, sir, I gave you my recorder earlier instead of my homework. So you did. Here you go. Here's the workbook. Thank you, sir. Sorry, sir. Like teacher, like pupil. Ah, uh, today was good. The true, real life. I think I'll go home and spend some t some fulfilling time before going to bed. Bernadette. Hi, Ryota. You know where Mr. Nanaki lives, right? Yes, but. Why do you ask? He left his phone in the staff room. He's already left, but you know how slowly he moves. If you hurry, you could catch up to him before he gets home. I could take it to him, but I need to run some errands for my mother before I go home. So I was wondering if maybe you could? Sure, I'm not doing anything. Thank you. Mr. Nanaki's phone. Now that I think about it, I don't know anything about his personal life. Is he always as spacey as he is at school? He probably spends 97 of his time at home asleep. Percent? Hours? 
What is this number referring to? Hmm? A piece of paper fell out of his phone case. What's this? <gasps> it's a photo. A photo of a bird, but I can't see the face at all. Someone scribbled all over it. Did Mr. Nanaki do this? It doesn't seem like him at all. I'll just put it back in the case. Maybe I should pretend I didn't see it? Sir! Oh, hello, Ted. Where are you going? You look like you're in a hurry. Sir, you forgot your cell phone. So I did. Thank you for coming after me with it. That was very nice of you. No problem at all, sir. Um... Hmm? Was there something else? What should I do? Ask about the photo. Sir, I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to look inside, but something fell out. Fell out? Um, the picture. I... Ah, uh, yes. That. Don't worry about it. After all, it's not something you need to worry about, right? But I'm curious. It was almost completely marked out. Yes, because I marked it out. He, he did? I never would have believed it from someone else, but since it's him saying so... Well, see you tomorrow. And so he left, with a farewell as carefree as if we had just been talking about the weather. He has a side I'd never seen, doesn't he? I've been never seen. Ah, uh, it's that time of year when the chill outside gradually breaks down my soul. Well, I'm done cleaning, so I guess it's time to go home. Hmm? Where's my phone? I remember looking at Daily Portal Z during break, so... I can't have left it at home. We had chemistry lab today, right? Maybe I left it in there. The door is open. Good. There it is. Sitting right on the bench I worked at. Sorry, were you lonely? Come on, let's head home. Ah! I bumped into... Oh. Doctor? You again. Has your life no purpose aside from meddling with me? Uh, no, I... What is he even doing here? He came out of the chemistry prep room, right? Alone, after school, in the lab... What were you doing? Um, I left something behind. Did you see anything? Eh? I'm asking if you saw anything. What are you... What is he talking about? Would it be a problem if I had seen something? Very well. May I ask a favor of you, Miss Te? Uh, yes, what is it? Could you bring me the files from the prep room? The black ones on the desk. Isn't this the prep room right here? They are somewhat heavy for me. But I am sure you will have no problem with them. Would you mind? No, sir. I'm not sure I could get away with saying no. I'll just do as he says. 
Files, files, which ones? I don't see anything like what he asked me for. <gasps> Wait! I'm locked in? Doctor! Doctor, let me out! What are you doing? Let me out! Brute, villain, fluffy heretic! No reply. The building's going to be locked soon, and I didn't tell anyone I was coming here. Wah! Somebody help me! The doctor locked me in here! Why did he do that? There's no reason to, unless he thinks I saw something I shouldn't have. This must be his way of shutting me up, or removing the evidence. That's probably it. I'm in despair! This evil doctor who will probably be coming back with a cleaver or something has left me in despair. I'm not sure I could make it out the window, but I have to get out of here quickly. How can I? Footsteps coming closer. I have to hide, but there's nowhere to hide in here. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Please don't. Huh? What are you doing in here? School is closed already. Mr. Nanaki. I thought I heard noises coming from over here. Were you banging the door, Te? That's not good. The door isn't a punching bag. I think I can see a halo around his head. I can practically hear angels. I'm alive! Okay. Sir, I... There are some dangerous things in here, so don't come in without asking, okay? I didn't come in of my own accord. The doctor... That's right. I asked her. You did? Indeed, I am truly sorry. I completely forgot I'd asked her to get something and locked her in and walked off. You locked the door as soon as I walked in here. Who are you? Clive Waring? Is that it? Well then... This whole thing stinks of ill-doing, Miss... Oh. <laughs> this whole thing stinks of ill-doing, Mr. Nanaki. But the doctor said it was an accident. I think it might be best if you went home as soon as possible this time of year, to It gets dark so quickly. That is true. I wanted to leave early, but then all this happened. Well then, I'll head home now. Stay safe. We'll have a career plan survey tomorrow. So don't forget the printout from earlier today. Ted is a very honest, nice girl. Isn't she? Though she is a little bit restless. I agree completely. Anyway, I shall excuse myself now. Goodbye. Doctor! Yes. That was a little sloppy. You failed to pay sufficient attention to your surroundings. That sort of thing will be the death of you, you know? Just kidding. Accidents like that happen to everyone, and you remembered to come let her out in the end. Don't worry about it. Yes. Thank you, Professor.
we get our finals back today. Between midterms and practice exams, this whole semester has been nothing but tests. Tests. Sir. You rank top of the year this time. Well done. Uh, what? She beat you by two points, Shirogane. Oh, well. Grr. Saki is glaring daggers at me again. How nostalgic. Anyway, my hard work really paid... My hard work paid off. Yippee! <laughs> The sun, its majestic brilliance, sweeps across the land, lighting it into incandescent glory. It's the first day of the new year. Looks like I'm still alive to enjoy it. It's a little cold out, but it's calm and the sun is warm. I think I'll go visit the shrine. There are a lot of birds here today. Must be nice to have warm winter plumage. Maybe I should borrow some from some birdie. I think I'll buy an amulet and go home. Bernadette! <laughs> happy New Year. Here's to many happy returns, right? What are you doing, Ryota? Exactly what it looks like. I'm working here today and tomorrow. Oh, it looks good on you. You came here to buy an amulet, right? Which would you like? Um, I'd like one for... Fulfillment in school. Here you go. Thanks, Ryota. Are you here all day today? Yup, the first day's always busy. Oh, well, I was going to ask if you wanted to get lunch together, but... Sorry, Bernadette. Maybe some other time? Since you're here, why not get a... why not go get a fortune? They're next to the main building over there. Okay, thanks. See you, Ryota. Hmm. Mr. Nanaki, Happy New Year. Oh, hello, Ted. Happy New Year. Did you get a fortune, sir? Yes. Unfortunately, I seem to have drawn the chicken of ill omen. Why don't you take one? I will. Hmm, what should I take? This one. Books, blessing. Good, you got a better one than I did. I think this will be a good year for you, Ted. Thank you, sir. Yippee. Happy New Year, everyone. I hope you all had good vacations. I hibernated. Hey, where is my model? How long has he not been there? Come on. I can't believe this. Come on, not responding. I can't believe that happened to me. Okay. <laughs> what a shocker. Zzz. You're still hibernating. Sir, wake up! Oh. Um, I've said this before, but your junior year will be over before you know it. 
Let's enjoy this time while it lasts. There's nothing special this semester. Nothing to worry about. Yippee. It's still light out, so maybe I'll go somewhere before I head home. Whee! Oh, tomorrow's Legumentines! I think I'll buy some beans. Today, Legumentines is a holiday where you give beans to the boy you like, but apparently it used to involve throwing them at pigeons. Disgraceful! Good evening, here for beans? Yes, is there a kind that you think is particularly good? This year's trend is toward these bean medleys for racers, but they are a little pricey. It's hard to say without knowing the burden question, really. Hmm, that's true. And sometimes the cheap ramen tastes better than the expensive stuff. I think I'll buy... Country millet. I'll take these. Thank you, miss. Here you are. Today's the day. The preparations are complete. Time to give the beans to that special somebody. Sir, Mr. Nanaki. Hello, Ted. What is it? Um, today's legumentines. So I wanted to give you beans. You want to give them to me? Are you sure that's okay? You don't have someone else? No, sir. I want to give them to you, sir. I don't know what kind of things you like to eat, so I wasn't sure which to get, but... Ah, millet seeds. I like them very much. I've enjoyed them for a long time. They bring back good memories. Mmm, such a nice, gentle smell. Zzz. Sir, they do smell nice, but please don't fall asleep. Oh, um, are you really sure you want to give these to me? Yes, sir, a hunter-gatherer never goes back on her word. Thank you, then. Hmm. I wonder what I should give you in exchange. I'll have to think about it. And so he wandered off towards the staff room, a gentle smile on his face. I'm glad he liked them. The semester is almost over. In a few short days, I will no longer be a sophomore. But there's one thing I have left to do first. One thing I need to do. Hello, Te. What is it? Asking to meet outside is a little odd. If it's about your career plan, don't worry. You're still a sophomore. You don't have to decide for a few months yet. No, sir. I wanted to ask you something. Oh, please do. Sir, I like you. Is that, is that all right? You do say the strangest things, Te. I like you, too. You're kind, smart, you work hard. I didn't mean it like that. Hmm, listen, I'm no longer able to love another creature. It's not your fault, Te, I'm sorry. No longer able to love another creature? What does he mean? You saw it, remember? Saw what, sir? The photo. Yes, sir, I didn't mean to. Don't worry about it. I know I knew you wouldn't lie. I suppose I should tell you. That was the photo of the most important bird in my life. 
I'm sorry, sir. I didn't mean to come in between. I thought we could live through anything, just the two of us. I think we meant more to each other than anybody else in the world. But one day I looked around, I was alone. Life changed after that. I stopped caring about a lot of things. I can never forget, never forget our life, our promises. But I'm not sure how to say this. As I looked at the photo every day, I realized I couldn't tell anymore. Couldn't tell if I felt love when I saw that face, or if, if I felt hatred. I, I think losing someone dear is painful for everyone. After a while, I, I couldn't stand to see it anymore. So you, that's right. But even as I tried to forget, some part of me didn't want to. You see now, right? Why I don't want to love again. By now, the love I felt has soar soured into resentment. Rather than forcing all that hatred onto one person, I... I think it's better to love everyone around you just enough that you won't regret losing them. That's too sad! You don't agree, te? I love your kindness, sir. But when I see that kindness bringing you pain, I have to wonder if there isn't a better way. <laughs> I wonder. By the way, there's one more thing I should tell you. That photo, it's gone now. I burned it. Eh? When you saw it, it made me think about things again. I never would have shown it to anyone, so I was rather shaken. We both knew that one of us would be gone one day, and neither of us would have wanted the other to mourn. So, as I looked at the photo, I thought it was better, better to put it away. So I burned it, sort of as an apology for defacing it like that. I should remember the beautiful face I knew, not a photo covered in scribbles. Oh. Te just because I'm a teacher doesn't mean you should always look up to me. That doesn't have anything to do with it. But I understand that you don't want to forget her, sir. I have an idea, Te. I will be waiting here at this school forever. If after you've grown up a little, you still feel the same way, I'll be here for you. Sir, that's creepy and weird. I don't like to make idle promises, but I'm sure you'll grow up into a wonderful person, Te. So let's wait until then. Yes, sir. Graduating. Growing up and then coming back here, that will be another story. I don't know what he will say to me on that day. I don't... I don't what I will feel. I don't know what I will feel or what he will feel. 
But right now, I am truly happy. Okay. Yes, congratulations, guys who worked on this. Good job. Yes, look at all of you. Fancy guys. What may come. Yes, achievement unlocked. What may come. Good for me. Yippee. Now I'm going to close my game. Hey! Why is my model up there? What happened? Why are you screwy? spot. <sighs> Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna look at my achievements in How to Fool Boyfriend and then decide who I will romance on Thursday of next week. I think it will be the creepy other teacher, but you know, never know. I only have ten more achievements left. Okay. I am missing It's a Sad Thing. Get Bad Ending. I am missing Dream's End, get Nagaki ending. I am missing Ryota's ending, Sakuya's second ending. Oh no, Sakuya's normal ending. I've already got his proper ending. Huh. Okay, I am missing the uh, Doctor's ending. <laughs> which I think I will get on Thursday. I'm missing Angel ending. And a Zami ending. And, uh, oh, good. The doctor has two endings. That's great. Okay. And then, uh, I think this one is like a, something you can get after you do something else and then the get the whole all of everything basically yeah okay <laughs> now I will close that too and see you on Monday where I'll probably play Stardew Valley um have a good rest of day